Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. You're watching JCTV on the Xbox One console. This is Greenwich Valley episode number 17. Thanks for stopping in folks. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've got great news. Check this out. It is harvest day. Ladies and gentlemen, our crops are ready to harvest. Our three fields, 48, 49, and 57 are ready for harvest. They're in the first stages of harvest, but nonetheless, we can harvest them, and that's what we're going to do. So let's fly on over to the harvester real quick. We will fire this up. I'm so excited we finally get to harvest. So what we're going to do is we're going to harvest all of this wheat, and then in the same day, we're going to recultivate and replant those fields with soybeans so that uh, the soybeans will be ready for harvest before the winter comes. Hopefully that is the plan and hopefully that plan will work out. So while we are hooking up the harvester and driving over to the first field, do me a quick favor, folks. If you have not done so already, click that subscribe button for me in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Like and share this video and ring that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. Don't forget to check out our featured channel section as well. You'll see four very excellent farming simulator youtubers there mr deuce ms carl johnson gaming crazy simulator and mr least square gaming go and check those four gentlemen out subscribe to all of their videos or subscribe to their channels like and share all their videos and whatnot do all that fun stuff for me that would be greatly appreciated and i'm sure those gentlemen will appreciate it as well then when you're done that, come check us out on all of our social media campaigns. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, Patreon. All of those links are in the description of the video, folks, as well as a small PayPal link there, too. If you feel so inclined to send a donation my way, that would be great. Don't forget, folks, donations are never expected, but always appreciated 100%. There's also a new link there, too. If you'd like to promote your own YouTube channel, check out sprizzy.com and uh, use the link down uh, below in the description. That would be greatly appreciated as well. Go and check that out. All right, we're almost at the farm here. There's field number 38. That's my goal. I want to buy that field next, but it is like $160,000, and we're nowhere close to that. Right now, we're sitting at $35,207. It is day one of early summer. That means we can harvest our crops. I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting to see how much money we can actually come up with. What, we, what the goal is today is just to harvest the fields um, create the straw swath and bale up the straw sell the straw bales then recultivate replant and then we're not going to worry about the sheep they're fine for now we don't need to worry about the sheep right now and then uh, next episode we're going to do something fun I'm not going to spoil the fun but next episode will be something fun so tune in next week and every Monday for the Greenwich Valley series all right, we got to close the gate because the gate overlaps the crop field. That's uh, somewhat of a small hassle, but not a big deal at all. And we're going to just position the harvester over here on the bottom corner of the field. We'll start harvesting, and then we will get this process up and underway. So I think um, what we're going to do also uh, when we sell all of the wheat and straw bales... We're going to save this money because it's going to tie into the surprise for next week's video. A little uh, tip and trick. Uh, if you don't do this already, then tune in next week to find out exactly what it is and how to do it. And then we will show you something fun and something cool. And uh, as spoiler alert, it's also an easy way to make money without actually cheating. So we don't do uh, any cheating on our videos. We don't use any government subsidies. We don't use any money mods or anything like that. Everything is done in real time as much as possible to show you uh, some sort of realism. And I don't believe in using the money mods. It just takes the fun out of the game. If you can have like $40 million in 10 minutes, it really defeats the purpose of actually playing the game. It's like skipping right to the end. There's really no point. So we're just going to go around the outside of the field first and then we'll do the middle of the field. Uh, this is probably, I think, only the second or third time we've got to use this harvester with the uh, seasons the way they are set to uh, three season days or three day seasons. Um, harvesting is few and far between. Uh, I just realized that I forgot to turn the straw swath on, so we're going to uh, disable the straw swath on the harvester so that way we can get the straw swath uh, gone and uh, lines of straw on the field. There it is there. So then we're able to bale up the straw uh, we probably we missed the first 
half of the outside of the field. It's probably equal to about maybe one or two bales of straw. It's no big deal. All right, so let's continue harvesting, and then we will uh, catch up with you again when we get to the baling process. Actually, the selling of the wheat is when we will touch base again. Stand by. All right, here is the end of the harvesting. This is the third field, uh, the small field by the townhouses there. It's number 57. We've just finished harvesting all of the wheat. There is our tipper almost full of wheat right there. I'm hoping that we have enough room in the tipper for the rest of the wheat. Let's just drive that over there now. We've got to go out the gate, hang a left turn, and through the town a little bit. And then there's a small, very, very small hidden driveway right up here on our left. There it is. We barely fit anything through there. We could barely fit the harvester through there. We've got to unlock the gate, of course. We'll uh, empty the tipper, and then we'll go and sell this wheat. Hopefully, we'll get uh, quite a few thousand dollars out of this. And then uh, you can see we've still got to bale up the straw as well. We've still got the baler over by the sheep farm. We'll go and grab that later. And then the bale trailer. I think we've got uh, three or four pallets of wool on the bale trailer right now that we've got to sell first. So that's more money in our pocket for harvest day. And uh, then we'll see where we go. I'm hoping that we can at least double our, double our money. If we get anywhere over $65,000, that would be ideal for what we're planning in the next episode. So stand by for that. All right, looking at the wheat here, we're going to Turbine Grain. They are paying the most. And if I'm not mistaken, Turbine Grain is the sell point that's right by the shop. If we uh, drive all the way to the shop and uh, take that right turn into the shop, but instead of turning into the shop, we go straight. Turbine Grain is right there. So let's head on over there right now. We'll just uh, go out of this little driveway, hang a left turn, and I think it's the first right turn street. If I'm looking at the map, my direction is a little off today. Uh, not here, but the next one. Wait, no, no, that's the uh, that's the way to the barn I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, we're going to the shop, so we're going to take, yeah, the next right turn, which is down this little street right here. And then just up the road a little bit is the shop, and then just past the shop is Turbine Green. That's right. I get it. I don't know why the street lights are still on. It is uh, 9.30 in the morning. We are almost there, just up and over this hill. And then we can finally sell all of this wheat. We did max out the trailer at uh, 45,000 liters. And there's uh, roughly about four or 500 liters left in the harvester. And I don't feel like driving all the way back just to empty that 500 liters. So we'll just leave it in there until uh, we have somewhere else to put it for now. Let's just go and sell all of this wheat. There's the sub point right over there to the left of the building. There we go, our first crop sale of this year and it's 45,000 liters of wheat. There we go, 45,000, 50,000, 55, 60. So we're at $60,000 with the crop sales. We still have to sell, we still have to bale all of the straw and sell that, and then we still have to sell all of the wool. So we're going to go do that next. All we have to do is drive the tipper back to the farm, park that, and then drive the harvester back to the farm. Then we'll zip on over to the sheep pen, pick up the baler, and then back over to the fields. All right, so here we are arriving back at their first field here. Uh, with the baler and uh, you don't have to worry about the bale wrapper attached to the back of the baler um, since it uh, it is three quarters of the way filled with grass it'll fill up with straw the rest of the way but it'll still be a grass bale so it's going to wrap this one but it won't wrap the straw uh, the straw bale uh, will not wrap it'll just bypass and just spit out the back and then you'll see that momentarily and we're just going to go and Follow all the straw lines on the ground, bale up all the straw, and then we're going to sell the straw bales. Hopefully, uh, we can get five or ten thousand dollars from the straw. My goal is uh, seventy-five thousand, or maybe seventy. Let's say seventy. Conservatively, 
$70,000 is what I'm hoping for so that we can uh, implement our little surprise for next week's episode. So we're just going to go around the outside, around the outside, bail up all the straw, and then we'll do the middle lines, and then we'll go from field to field to field, and then we will bail up all of the straw. Hopefully uh, the bale trailer holds 24 bales, so um, I think with the current prices of straw right now, we could probably get uh, an additional 10 grand to put us up to that $70,000 mark, and then uh, that would be equal to... I think almost two full trailers of bales. And then we just have to drive them over to the barn and sell them because that's the only place on the map that is buying straw bales. So due to lack of options, we are going to sell them at the barn. And then that will be that. All right. We are going to continue baling the straw. Just like this. Driving around, following the lines... This is all pretty boring. So let's uh, skip to the end of the baling process, shall we? And then we'll uh, skip ahead to the selling of the wool and the freeing up of the bale trailer. All right, and here we are selling the wool. So we have three full pallets of wool from the sheep that have accumulated overnight. And we're just going to drive over the trigger. They should sell automatically. There they go. Perfect. 3600 bucks from the wool brings us to $64,470. Only $6,000 away from our $70,000 goal. I'm pretty sure that we can achieve that. All right, now we just have to drive the bale trailer over to the bales. And we can start picking those up. It's just a leisurely drive through the town here. And why don't we just skip ahead to the arrival of the uh, bale trailer. All right, here we go. We've arrived at the field with the bale trailer. And because it's auto-loading, we're just going to drive around and pick everything up. This is the first field, field number 57, the smallest one out of our three fields. So there's not a lot of bales here. What's that? Five, six. Bale number seven. Bale number eight. And then number nine is right there. And then just out the gate. Quick right turn to the other field and then we'll pick up those bales. Quick little job. It's not going to take very long at all. There's no reason to uh, skip ahead. So what do we got there? Nine bales. We can hold 24. 10. 11. And number 12. Half full. I don't know what I would do without these auto load trailers. I would probably uh, take up a heck of a lot of time on these videos picking up bales. Because there's a lot of bales. I don't, you know what? I, In the time that I've been playing Farming Simulator 19, I don't think I've ever once, I never once used a uh, bale pickup device that attaches to the front of the tractor. I don't think I've ever used them to, uh, whoops, let's put that back on the trailer. I've never used them to actually pick up bales. I've used the bale spikes to uh, to pick up bales, I guess, on uh, another series, but never to collect them and put them on a trailer. All right, so we are full now. We've got 24 bales of straw. We're going to head on over to the barn to quick left turn out of this field. And then not this right turn, but it's the next one. And the barn is just up the street. It's very close by. Not very far at all. Where are we at? $64,470. There's the barn coming up there on our right. Right in here. It's kind of close quarters. It's uh, very hard to get into, especially with this trailer. We have to pull around here in front of this little caravan. And then back up the trailer into the cell point somewhat difficult. There's no easy way in or out of this place. There we go. That should do it. And then we'll just auto offload to this side over here. Put them down on the ground. Hit the trigger. 
And bingo, there's the bales gone. $70,000. Ooh, not bad. 5500 bucks for 24 bales of straw, and there is still one more full trailer left, I think. There should be about 24 bales left to go and pick up, so we're going to go grab those really quickly. All right, here is the second trailer. There's 23 bales on here. So we're just about all full. Does that say 23 or 21? I can't remember. All right, either way, $5,400. And that is fantastic because now we're at 75903 so now all we have to do is bring the trailer back to the farm. We'll just leave it at our farm instead of driving it all the way back to the sheep pen. We're going to grab the cedar and no, sorry, we're going to grab the cultivator because we've got to cultivate these fields first before we replant. But we can get all that done today. But uh, we're not going to show you that on video. That's just going to take too much longer than what it has to. So we're just going to drive the the what am I talking about we're gonna drive the bale trailer back to the farm there's the farm right here on our left we just gotta find the entrance to the dirt road and then we'll grab the uh, the cultivator and then we'll go to town on those fields and hopefully the soybeans that we are gonna plant will be ready to harvest by I'm gonna say at the latest day one of winter so hopefully uh, we can get that harvest in the second harvest of the year in before it gets too cold to do any type of farming. All right, right down the dirt road here into the field across the rickety old creek bridge. And we'll just find a safe spot for the bale trailer. And then we'll worry about putting that back in the sheep pen later. And we'll just put it over here, keep it out of the way. There we go. That's fine right there. No big deal. All right. So let's check out the cedar first. I just want to see. I know we have to cultivate first, but uh, let's see what's left in the cedar so we can gauge pretty much how much this is going to cost us to uh, reseed these three fields. I know we can do the first two fields on one tank. Um, or the, sorry, the uh, two smallest fields on one tank, but the third field is a medium-sized field, so we're going to have to refill it. Well, we're just about halfway, just a little over halfway on the seed tank. Let's go fill it up real quick, just to see uh, how much money it's going to take to fill it. It shouldn't be too much. We've got just over a quarter of the space left, so we'll fill this up really quickly. And then we'll go and grab the cultivator, and then we will cultivate our fields. Alright, we'll just leave this here. That looks good. And that looks good there. Let's go grab the cultivator, and we'll head on over to the first field. Alright, and I think this is probably the third time we've ever used the cultivator too. It's almost brand new. My tractor is almost out of gas, so we're going to have to uh, get gas at some point. Maybe by the next episode, we'll have to get some fuel. Just under half a tank. Ooh, that cultivator is bouncing. This is a very uneven dirt road. We're not going that slow either, so it's... Not really helping the equipment. The last thing I want to do is flip it over. We should slow down just a little bit. There we go. Quick right turn and then we're on our way to the first field. And then we can begin the cultivation process that needs to be done before seeding. I can't tell you how many times I've brought the seeder over here to figure out that I forgot to cultivate first. If I only had a nickel for every time I forgot to cultivate. I think I have three nickels. All right, here we are at the first field. We've got to pull this in. We've got to jump out, close the gate, back into the tractor. What I wouldn't give for a gate that was three feet narrower. But then I guess we wouldn't be able to fit any equipment through it. Whatever. 
All right, so here's the geo plan. We've just done the wheat, and you can see that the soybeans are ready for planting today and tomorrow, or uh, this month and next month. And then they'll be ready to harvest. Uh, hopefully, day one of early autumn is the first possible day, but then we've got uh, four days to actually prepare for the harvest. So I'm hoping that we can get that done before the winter and before the ground freezes, uh, which would be ideal because that would give us thousands of more dollars in crop revenue for this calendar year all right so again we're just going to go around the outside around the outside and cultivate the fields but i think we're going to call this a day that's pretty much all the work we're going to be doing today on this episode stay tuned for the next episode every monday 5 a.m eastern standard time is when these videos get uploaded so watch out for that click that notification bell so you can be alerted as soon as the video is uploaded thanks to all of you uh, notification ninjas who show up within the uh the first couple of minutes of the video being uploaded and watch i sure do appreciate it if you haven't done so already folks click that subscribe button for me like and share this video and then uh, enjoy i'm going to put some playlists up on the screen now so you can uh, enjoy some past episodes if you haven't uh, had a chance to watch those or if this is your first time watching JCTV, go and check out these other videos here. All right, we're going to continue cultivating the rest of these three fields. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. I sure do appreciate it, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your self-isolation day. Have a good one, and for now, this is JCTV saying see you later.